name is Deborah Bangasara. Hi, my name is Sana Javed. Hi, my name is Nora Shalavi, and we're part of the UAU census team. We are here to talk about minority turnout on the census and why it is important. If we, it is important because it determines where federal funds go in our community and how it dictates our future over the next 10 years. We're specifically targeting minority groups, low income and immigrant families because of poor count in our communities. We need to see more representation on the census. If we have an accurate count of minority groups, we are able to see more representation of people of color. The census has 10 questions that take 10 minutes to fill, which will positively fill, which will positively change our communities over the next 10 years. Representation. The issue of the undercount on the census today has disturbing similarities with the very first census, where the black undercount was intentionally planned in constitutional terms more specifically, the three-fifths compromise. The three-fifths compromise determined that an individual should be counted as three-fifths of each enslaved African American. These, these prehistoric events continue to have an effect on the marginalized groups displayed in our presentation. Due to low turnouts because of prehistoric issues, it is hard to find minorities, immigrants, and low-income families willing to fill out the census. However, by having an accurate count of minority groups, we are able to see representation of people of color in big platforms. Due to the lack of representation, we are not able to see the minorities that are in need of federal funds. We can't have enough funding for future disasters and pandemics. If we cooperate as a whole community, it can protect our future. Federal funds. In terms of federal funds, the census helps improve the community, especially minority groups and low-income families that are in need of educational opportunities, health care, job opportunities, and new infrastructure. Many people have the common understanding that by filling out the census, the government has access to their data and can report to facilities. However, they don't receive any information and citizenship status does not matter. We need to come together and do what is best for our communities. presentation, we have shown the effects of the census on the disproportionate count of minority, low-income, and immigrant families. If these groups fill out the census, there will be an influx of representation and federal funds, thus far creating new opportunities for them and their communities. Thank you for your time. Can we count you in?